U.S. President Barack Obama offered words of comfort. God is our refuge and strength. For those old and young who'd lost loved ones. And my father, Sebastian Gorky, who I never met because I was in my mom's belly. I love you for loving the idea of having me. The names of the victims were read out. Daniel M. Cavallaro. Lawrence Chan. Including South Africans Craig Neil Gibson and Nicholas Charles Alexander Rowe. Their names can be found on the North Memorial Pool. Nadine Yerofitu, Eyewitness News, New York. David Clale is no stranger to the New York fashion world, having shown here in 2009. After like recession and everything else that has happened, just to come and see how fashion has evolved and how people are spending. This weekend show was something different. It's for a good cause, raising funds for hospices back home in Soweto will be benefiting from this. Clale is working on making sure his clothing is available here from next year. Nadine Yerofitu, Eyewitness News, New York. Rollback Malaria's report has been welcomed by many, including Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe, who had this to say to Eyewitness News. We are fighting like everybody else, fighting the battle against the mosquito, and we are succeeding. His bodyguards wouldn't allow any further questions. Don't push me, I'm just asking a question. Please, it's enough, it's enough. Malaria Ambassador Yusun Dur believes all countries' leaders, even Mugabe, should be included in methods to save lives. Some difficulties coming from inside the country doesn't mean we have to stop and say people are going to die because of malaria. Nadine Fitu, Eyewitness News, New York. Extra, extra, we know all about it. Wall Street, occupied, free of charge, free of spin. Corporate greed, social inequalities, climate change. These are some of the reasons people here are taking part in Occupy Wall Street. Despite not having a specific outcome, protesters are determined to draw attention to their movement and staged a march to the Brooklyn Bridge on Saturday where over 700 were arrested for marching on a public road. Some of the protesters say they were lured there by the police, but the NYPD says they used bullhorns to warn the crowd. Most of those arrested have since been released, but Occupy Wall Street says their movement has grown and is becoming more organized. Nadine Yerofitu, Eyewitness News, New York. This man put down his trademark white apple headphones. I needed to do something just to like express how I feel and I of course never met Steve Jobs. This man says the world owes Jobs a debt. Everything, you're recording this on an iPhone right now and we will see over the next you know one year, two years, I mean how much this guy meant to everything. The makeshift shrine here continues to grow bigger as the hours go by. Nadia Nyerufitu, Eyewitness News, New York. Eulen Wumble, originally from Cape Town, worked on the first season. With the zombies, and I painted the clothes for the leads, like to paint the aging on them. Now, as costume designer, she has to reflect the location change from city to countryside. There are less ties, fewer suits, more farm hands, and you know, the Ofro with her little dress on that's full of flowers, you know, that kind of stuff. The Walking Dead is on Top TV's FX channel. Nadine Fitu, Eyewitness News, Georgia. Tower Heist comes at a timiest moment with Occupy Wall Street protests spreading across the world. Ben Stiller says it's a coincidence, but the film taps into a sense of fairness for the little guy. It's, it's something, a common theme that everybody can connect with, especially right now. Eddie Murphy agrees. And I love that they're regular people that are doing something that they've never done. The film also stars precious actress Gabourey Sidibe. Nadine Fitu, Eyewitness News, Los Angeles. Drow Silver says he exceeded even his own expectations. I was counting on like three and a half hours maybe, and I kind of did it in a, an hour less than that, much better than I expected, so pretty cool. The photographer says taking part in the New York City Marathon was important. Given that I had surgery just a little over a month ago, I was very happy with the end result. He's now focusing on his rehab before heading back to South Africa for Christmas. Thank you very much for the support. It's truly appreciated. You guys don't really know how much it means. Oh, Nadine Yerofitu, Eyewitness News, New York. Thousands of people marched from Foley Square here in downtown Manhattan to the Brooklyn Bridge. The protesters reminded each other to be peaceful. People who took to podiums rallied the crowd, telling them Occupy Wall Street would make it through the winter and throw a big party in the summer to celebrate. But as one spectator put it to Eyewitness News, without a leader and mission statement, there's a real possibility this will all fizzle out way before then. Nadine Yerofitu, Eyewitness News, New York.
Charlize Theron's Afrikaans is still strong. So who can do it? Good. Praat jy nog Afrikaans? Yeah. yeah. Kan dit verstaan? Wil jy kan dit nog verstaan? Okay, good for you. In Young Adult, her character goes back to her hometown. Theron says she last visited Benoni two years ago. I do it for that pang of nostalgia. It's more like, hmm, yeah, I just want to see what it, like, drive by my old streets and things like that. There's growing Oscar buzz around the movie. The actress says she finds it flattering but doesn't like to think about it. Nadia Nirofitu, Eyewitness News, New New York. Angelina Jolie arrived with Brad Pitt in tow, but he left her to speak about the movie set in war-torn Bosnia on her own. I wanted to learn about this conflict. I wanted to be able to do a film that, that dealt with these universal themes of, of tolerance and violence against women. Actress Zana Marjanovic says Jolie brought her acting experience to the role of director. She knows the entire process of making and creating a role and playing these difficult scenes. The film releases in South Africa early next year. Nadine Yerofitu, Eyewitness News. News, New York.